The objective of this module is to give an overview of how to investigate incidents in the Avigilon Control Center client software. The subject of this module is most relevant to security officers who are responsible for investigating incident reports, reviewing complaints, and archiving video for litigation purposes. We will talk about how to search for specific events in recorded video, how to export video and images for others to review, how to watch exported video in the player software, and how to collaborate with other users through the client software. For more information about any of the topics discussed in this module, see the help files included with the software. To access the software help files, just press F1 or click the application menu button in the top right corner, then select Help. If you are not able to see or access some of the features described in this module, it may be because you do not have the required user permissions or you are using a different edition of the software. We will identify any features that are edition specific with the following icons. For our example, let's pretend that you work as a security officer in an industrial park. One of the regular tenants submitted a report of an incident where their car was severely scratched. The first thing you would typically do is open the camera installed closest to where the incident occurred and display the camera's recorded video. If you are given a specific time frame of the incident, move the timeline to the starting point and play through the recorded video. To better control the video playback, you can zoom in on the timeline and manually move through each recorded event or scroll quickly through the parts that are clearly not related to your incident. If you did not find the incident you were looking for right away, you can try performing a pixel search. In the new task menu, click Pixel Search. Pixel Search is a great tool for finding something specific in a camera's field of view. For example, we know the car we are observing and we know which side was scratched, so we can focus on this point in the camera's field of view. Select Clear All, then use the pencil tool and draw a few dots right where you think the event occurred. Be aware that the search will only be performed on the areas that are highlighted green. Next, we can define the time frame we want to look through. Finally, click Search. The results are immediately listed. In our example, we are using an Avigilon camera. Be aware that pixel search may not be available in some third-party cameras. When you select one of the search results, it is highlighted on the timeline. The related video is displayed. You can Play back the recorded video, zoom in and out to check details, and bookmark the video. To bookmark the search result, right-click the timeline and select Add Bookmark. In the dialog box, enter as much detail as you can about the incident. In the description box, include the incident number, the name of the victim, and other useful details of the incident. All this information will help you find the bookmark later. You can also include video from other cameras in the area. In another example, you can use pixel search to find out who walked down a hallway or entered through a specific door during a set time period. If you need to find exactly when an object arrived or left an area in the scene, you can use the thumbnail search. In the new task menu, click thumbnail search. Thumbnail search is a great tool for finding an event in a wide time frame. Since we know the car we are observing and we know which side was scratched, we can do a thumbnail search to find out when the car in the next spot arrived and left to discover if the scratch was caused by the neighbor. Focus the green overlay around the object. In this instance, it is the adjacent car. The search result will only display the area highlighted in green. Next, define the time frame of the search. Select the start time to be when the car is in the scene and the end time to be when the car is gone from the scene. Finally, click Search. The results are immediately displayed. Each thumbnail represents a highlighted point in the timeline. The search results are spread evenly across the set time frame. We can see in these search results that the car left the scene between these two thumbnails. If we double-click on the results just after the car left the scene, we can see that the search is automatically performed again on a tighter time frame around this result. We can double-click a search result again to perform an even tighter search until we find the exact moment the incident occurred. Once we find the event, we can open up the video at this time in a separate viewing window 
or we can add a bookmark. We recommend bookmarking each relevant search result so that you can easily come back and review the incident video again. Bookmarked content can be easily exported for other stakeholders to review and archived for your own reference. Here are some other examples of when a thumbnail search can be used. A subject has spray-painted a wall and you want to find out exactly when the wall was marked. Someone has stolen a permanent object out of the scene and you want to find out exactly when it happened. To find a bookmark, click Bookmark Search in the New Task menu. In the Search tab, all available bookmarks are listed on the left. Enter the incident number or some other bookmark detail in the search bar to quickly find the bookmarks you want. From this screen, you may edit, review, and export the bookmark. Besides the searches we've mentioned so far, you can also use the event-specific searches. Event searches allow you to search for all motion and digital input events from multiple cameras. This search is most useful for finding events that occur in quiet areas during periods of low activity. For example, you have a view of an interior hallway that is locked overnight. You can perform an event search to quickly review any motion activities that may have occurred. If you are investigating a point of sales related event, you can perform a POS search. This search allows you to search through sales transactions that are recorded by the connected POS device. In the search text area, you can enter specific items or values to search for. If you are investigating an alarm event, you can perform an alarm search. This search allows you to search through specific alarms. The search results are labeled by the alarm event status, so you can identify when an alarm was triggered, when it was acknowledged, and read the related notes. After you've found the incident video, you can export the video for other stakeholders to review. You can access the Export tab in several ways. You can export video from the search results, from the bookmark, or directly from the Export tab. In the Export tab, you can choose to export content in multiple video and image formats. If you want to export a specific frame of video, select one of the still image formats. If you want to export an entire event, you can choose to export the video in either native or AVI format. Native, AVE format, is the Avigilon video format. This format keeps the video at full resolution and high detail, just as it was compressed at the camera. You can also include video from multiple cameras in one export file. Video in native format can be played back and authenticated against tampering through the Avigilon Control Center player software. When you export video in native format, you can choose to include the player software in the export. AVI format is a common video format that can be played in any standard media software like the Windows Media Player. Video exported in AVI format is usually highly compressed and typically contains less detail than native exports. Also, the AVI format does not provide an authentication method. To burn directly to disk, Select this button and choose the appropriate storage destination. If you choose to export still images, you are exporting individual frames of recorded video. For image formats, you can export a series of images that span the selected duration. You can limit the number of images that is exported by selecting a specific image rate for the export and capping the number of images that is exported. Just be aware that if you choose to cap the number of images that is exported, the system starts overwriting images if the image cap is less than the images available within the export time frame. If you want to print an image or convert it into PDF, you can only export one image at a time. In these cases, it is recommended that you export with the snapshot feature instead. After you export video into AVE format, you can open the video in the Avigilon Control Center player. The player is Avigilon's native video player. It can play any export or backup video file from the Avigilon Control Center. The player has many of the same tools as the client software. You can control the recorded video, search, and export images as you would in the client software. After you open a file in the player, you can authenticate the file against tampering. Each of Vigilon video file contains an encrypted digital signature that is used to confirm that the exported images have not been altered. 
From the application menu, select Authenticate Images. The following dialog box shows the application's progress as it goes through each frame of video. When it is done, it will display the number of images that have the digital signature intact and the number that has been altered. If the other stakeholders are also logged into the system through the ACC client software, you can choose to start a collaboration session. A collaboration session allows you to quickly show, review, and investigate events with other users who are logged into your site. To start a collaboration, click the Collaborate button, then select the user you want to work with. Once the other person has accepted your invitation, the collaboration session starts. Now, either person can control and update what is displayed in the View tab. When you zoom into a video, the same thing occurs in the other person's view. When you want to end the collaboration session, just close the shared view. Be aware that you can only collaborate in a view tab. Other tabs like search or export cannot be shared in a collaboration session. Thank you for your attention.